And a number of teachers and other staff, they walked off the job again today. This is at a North Oshawa school citing safety concerns. Some parents were demonstrating outside Elsie McGill Public School yesterday saying the problem is bullying by a few students. The Elementary Teachers Federation of Ontario confirming more than 20 employees engaged in the right to refuse unsafe work under the Occupational Health and Safety Act. The Durham District School Board says it's actively addressing concerns that have been raised at that school, but parents say bullying has been an ongoing problem. Well, this is the first time this it's gotten this bad, like because the, the teachers did the that they don't want to work today because they had the shutdown yesterday, and then they have one Friday. But yeah, there's some uh, bad apples in this school, and they don't seem to be getting rid of them. I've already already reached out to the board again and asked them what's their plan moving forward. All I'm hearing is they're gonna they're still investigating. They're still investigating. This morning I brought my my kids to school. And the teachers have walked off the job because the school is that unsafe, because they're also getting bullied. Imagine your, daughter, your children is at school, they can't use the bathroom. They're afraid to walk in the halls because of these bullies. You can't have classes with the doors open. And a statement from the Durham District School Board reads in part, quote, despite a disrupted start to the morning schedule due to a staffing matter, there is no ongoing safety issue at Elsie McGill PS. And the school day continued as normal with the focus on learning and well-being. In all instances of bullying, the DDSB follows a progressive discipline model that prioritizes the safety and well-being of every student. And for more on this, we are now joined by Mary Fowler. She's the president of ETFO Durham Teachers Local. Mary, thanks so much for making time for us today. Uh, we just heard from some parents, some clips there, uh, who say... Their kids don't feel safe at school. And a number of teachers have once again walked off the job. What is happening outside the school today? And how are people inside that building feeling? Yeah, so just to maybe add a little more, it's not that there's a second work refusal happening today. It's that the work refusal from yesterday hasn't been resolved yet. Uh, so while that's ongoing, it's not a, a second uh, work refusal. I'm honestly not sure what's happening outside of the building. If there's parents there, that's something I'm not aware of. But I know that the staff in the building right now are having conversations with people from the board about uh, what can be put in place in order to ensure that they do feel that the workplace is safe enough for them to re-engage in that work. Well, along those lines, what's your response to this? You know, how has the school and the school board responded? So uh, I would say that it's challenging for the people in the building uh, who heard that the, you know, the board stated that the school was safe yesterday. Um, you know, they've been, frankly, raising these issues with the school board for a number of months and uh, hadn't seen any kind of resolve up till this point. And so they felt like they didn't have any other option yesterday except to engage in this, this uh, action, which is their right to refuse unsafe work. So you say that these, uh, these staff members, along with the union, have been raising these concerns for months now, and, and it's now coming to the forefront. What are staff telling you in terms of what they, they need to feel safe at the school? Yeah, so they suggested to us that there's a culture in the school where inappropriate behaviors are not being met with appropriate consequences. So I know that, you know, again, those staff are expressing that to the board. And I think uh, a change in that kind of practice moving forward is something that they need. Uh, they've had conversations with them about additional staffing levels and, you know, communications protocols. So uh, from what I understand, they're still having those conversations and, and we're hoping to find a resolution. Obviously, I think that, um, you know, all workers and teachers and other educators deserve to go to school and have safe working conditions, which means safe learning conditions for kids. You know, this isn't the first time we've heard about issues similar to this. What can you say about violence in schools as it is directed towards teachers and other professional staff? Well, I can certainly tell you that uh, there's been a significant increase in the amount of violence that um, our members have been experiencing, both here in Durham and around the province, ETFO engaged in a significant survey last year uh, asking members about their experiences with violence and it's a it's a frightening number frankly mm -hmm. of folks 
have experienced violence, who've had to evacuate their classrooms. And, and what we're hearing certainly across our board from members is that there uh, isn't a sufficient holding to codes of conduct in schools, that um, you know, the, the board's policies on progressive discipline are not being followed. And so even when there are you know, inappropriate behaviors from students, they're not being dealt with appropriately by administrators or by the school board. Right. As you noted today, uh, the, the job action, if you will, continues for a second day today. What are you hearing from your members in terms of what they are asking for the school? What from the school? What do they need from the school and the school board? So, like I said, they want there to be consequences when, you know, they come forward with uh, when they come forward to their administrator informing them of something that's been taking place. Our members have been completing violent incident reports in this school at a disproportionate rate uh, to the rest of the schools and the board. But there haven't been significant follow through from the admin. So that's something that's uh, definitely high on the list of priorities for our members. Um, and they're talking about, you know, what the staffing complement in the building needs to be. There has been a significant reduction in, in additional supports for kids, especially under this, you know, provincial government. And we're feeling that everywhere in Durham, certainly, and I'm sure elsewhere as well. Okay, at Faux Durham Teachers Local President Mary Fowler. Thank you. Thanks, Mary.